Yo what's up guys and welcome to a new video. In today's video I played on my own Escalation vanilla server, did a bit of PvPing, did a bit of snowballing, this and that. If you guys want to see more videos like this make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe if you haven't done it yet. And now without further ado let's get right into the video. Starting as a fresh spawn I went to the first location I saw which was the beautiful bridge of Escalation. There I managed to find a Bizey, but since a recent map update, the mags don't spawn with full ammo anymore. So in order to get that mag filled, I went to another military location nearby in hopes to find some more, without much success. Continuing to make my way through the map and seeking for ammo or players to snowball, I came across some players in this little town here. And after strategically applying some thought out waiting techniques, I noticed that they suddenly started shooting inside the gun store, which was the sign for me to push them right now. I knew I only had 13 rounds in my gun and any mistake here would be crucial, but I just had to give it a try. After surviving half a heart attack and making it out alive again, I temporarily waited in this abandoned base here to sort my inventory, something which turned out to be the right decision as the team have been actively looking out for me. If I had moved on here, they would likely find me and surprise me eventually. Okay, I now realized that I started to get somewhat geared, so I went close to the map border and started chopping trees to build myself a little base. Whilst gathering wood, I suddenly noticed gunshots quite nearby. And after investigating further, I realized that I got some active neighbors. And I knew those guys were my neighbors and not just random people because they went into this base right here. When I saw them heading in their base, I quickly continued to gather more wood to finish off my base. And thanks to all the metal I got earlier when killing those guys in the town, I was able to skip the wooden phase and move straight to reinforced structures. And not only is it more secure, but it also looks much more cool. Which is always very important. The base was set in place and it was now time to go out there and find out more about my neighbors.
I made my way straight back to the base to deposit all the loot I've just gotten. But these guys were definitely not happy as they were looking around trying to find out where I went or where I lived. Luckily for me there was just so many bases around that they couldn't really figure out which of those I lived in. To calm the situation a bit I then spent the night farming more wood to increase storage capacity and base size so that I ended up with a base like this. It's actually starting to look like a base. If you're looking for a host to create your own Anton servers then look no further because once again Pine Hosting got you covered my friends. Setting up servers in one of many available locations only takes minutes and the panel makes it very easy to use even for people that have never hosted a server before using the one click plugin and workshop installer. These servers have a high performance with powerful DDoS protection and all of that for a very affordable price. Should you currently host your service with another provider then don't worry at all because Pine Hosting will help you personally to move it from another host. And if you and the boys want to hop on other games as well then feel free to check out all the other games that Pine Hosting also offers. Use code Panda for 30% off your order at checkout and the link in the description to support this channel. Thanks to all of you guys for supporting and to Pine Hosting for sponsoring this video and now let's get back into the video. New day, old me. I head out again to farm more resources just to get jumped. <sighs> By a bear. A bear, guys. What the fuck? Went back to pick up my gear again and continued my way towards some locations until I eventually stumbled upon a gunfight. My neighbors. Again. This time they finally managed to kill me, but it didn't take very long to have all that gear back again. See guys, here's the thing. All those times I managed to kill these guys, grab their loot and safely deposit everything in my base. They were trying to find my base, but failed each time. And then, at the peak of my confidence, something happened which was just going to happen eventually, they found my base. Alright, I know what you guys are thinking now and to be honest, I don't blame you. How could I have left both doors open? The truth is I don't know. I think playing this game at 2am was part of the reason however. But anyways, as much of a rookie mistake it was, I had to cross the entire map to get back to the base and the raiders were gone but took almost everything with them. Quickly after I have noticed that one of the guys has logged off the server and before the second one would as well I went out and was looking for him. Give my items back. Alright, get my large wooden crate back. So I can store everything in there for now. I need to sacrifice my 
vest for uh, so I have a bad. I'll do that. All right, guys. So the duo that raided me um, now logged off the server, which means I know where their base is. I actually marked it right here. It's literally right on this marker. This is their base confirmed. Saw them walk out, saw them walk in. So for me, it is now gathering some raiding gear. Um, I think the best way, to be honest, I haven't really played much escalation at all. The first escalation video that you've seen, this was like my first time playing, sort of. And now I literally didn't play between then and now. But yeah, uh, let's get to this. So I need a gas mask. For a gas mask, I need a filter. I think I'm going to head to Lock Dynamics because this is a very good location to find all that stuff in. I'm um, going to drop in as much as I can in here. There isn't much room in here anymore. I got everything I need. Uh, do I need a scope? Maybe I'll need a scope. I'll just take one with me just in case. Just give me that scope. Oops, that's not what I meant. To do. Okay, now I can just switch between scope and um, dot sight. I'm just gonna check if there's some zombies around here because if there is, then there's likely no one here. I hear a zombie already, but I don't really see many. I'm just gonna pick up literally anything I can find. Okay, there's a zombie here. Pry bar. That's good. Actually, I'll probably just strip this take the glue i'll find a bunch of glue here yeah i need to i need to break those but i want to make sure that no one's here before i break them uh because they are loud and i don't want to draw attention or give away my position but since there's zombies here as well i don't think there's anyone here i'm just gonna do that when i'm about to leave really just quickly getting some oh nice let's see Got the save zone card, of course. Something respawned here. Uh, assault. Rifle. What's better? This one, probably. Alright, uh, yeah, since there's no one here, let me just shoot as many of those as I can. Take the oil. Well, I'll need it for something. I see trees. Oh, there's a guy here. I'm just gonna wait for the perfect opportunity. Just gonna give him a minute and then I'll get a I'll get an easy free kill. Alright, he's coming. Yep. Please have some chems for me. Ooh, wow, he had... He actually had quite a lot. Ooh, wait. This guy was actually a bit of... Somewhat stacked. No? No, I think I, I think I gotta run back to my base already. Wait, someone died here? Wait, who died here? Yeah, I gotta run back to my base. I just have too much on me right now. <laughs> my inventory is... Also, I just realized down there, I'm almost level 12 on my network. If you're wondering what those levels are about, I'm going to explain you just in a bit once I reach my base. Okay, there you see some chop trees there. That's a big base, man. There's so many bases on the server. Oh, this is my base. Yeah, this is my base down there. <laughs> Finally found it. <laughs> Took me a minute. Um, I knew it was somewhere very, like... This is literally the world border. All right. Um, yeah, my inventory is full. Let me place this book quickly. No, I could need another crate. And I think, yeah, I still have the X and I am going to get another crate. And they're easy to rate, but for now, I just need a lot of storage. I might get two big crates or so. Okay, I think this should be enough now. Do I have enough wood? Yeah, easily. More than enough. Okay, so... Let me just quickly place those in my base. I'm glad no one killed me. One here. And one here. Cool. There we go. Got some storage now. And a clean inventory. If you guys were wondering what this down here is, um, it says 11 with a panda icon. Now, these are network levels. This is actually very new. Well, 
it's been there for a month <laughs> it's not that new but so essentially what it is it just shows your activity on my servers on the pandas network servers um, if you type slash menu or you press the dot button which also works um, you have a panel this is also very new and essentially what this is it, it gives you base everything all information about the service so here for example you have quests which you can earn network xp with daily quests and then we got weekly quests um they also reset in two days and 13 hours for example and yeah you can get more network xp you can also just get network xp by logging in daily you have a streak um killing zombies or like you see right now um just for playing on the server you also get XP for that. There is a leaderboard with the top levels on all the servers. For example, if you play on the Escalation Vanilla server, you get Network XP. If you then switch to the Arid server, for example, then you continue getting Network XP. You have the same progress, the same level. It will never wipe. So it's basically something you can keep building up. It doesn't give you any advantages for the moment. It's just cosmetic. If this video comes out, maybe the PvP and PvE leaderboards are already going to be available then obviously you have all these rules here you have the commands um, if you click this you get to the uh, pandas network store this to my discord and then yeah and then you can exit it as well by the way if you hold c you can move this level thing and then just drop it wherever you want if you literally want to have it like up to the top right you can have it if you want to have it down here you can also do that you can do whatever you want with it and if you want to completely disable it, slash level will disable it. If you don't like it, if you just want the clean um, UI look, you can also disable it. No bother at all. I'm going to enable it though, because I like it. All right, let's go and farm some more items, shall we? Wait. Someone raiding right now? Yo, someone's raiding that base. Hey, man. Hey, hey, hey. hey I'm not gonna kill you. Do you hear me? What's up? What's up? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna come over, okay? I won't kill you. I'm alone. Here, here, here. I won't kill you. No, 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 don't kill me, man. These guys here, you're raiding the people that raided me. <laughs> I was also gonna raid them. Did they raid you as well, or some? No, no, they didn't know where I lived. I was trying to stop them from building, but they, they uh, built anyway, so. Oh, dope. Dude, do you mind if I help you raid or something? If I'm just here and... <laughs> I'm, I'm just, I just gotta finish off these lockers. I don't know if I'm gonna bother. If you wanna try to get in the rest of these like storage, these like uh, squares here, you can. But I was I was gonna leave that alone. I don't think there's any. Like, should I see what's what else is in here? I don't know if anything's gonna be there or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have a charge? Yeah, I got one. Oh, dude. Yeah, here. If you place it here in this corner, yeah, everything's gonna open. I'm gonna wait for you. <laughs> Bro, what is this coincidence? Literally. I, I, okay, so he basically just stole my video idea. <laughs> Man, why? Where does he live though? He's driving back there. I haven't seen that car either. Yo, he, he might actually live in that corner, you know? <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> this is so funny. Let's see, I think he's also solo, baby smurf. Yeah, he is a solo right now. Well, I suppose I don't even have to farm for some stuff to raid them. So I will wait for him to come back. We'll finish off what's left. We'll check if there's anything in here. <laughs> Wait, he's back. He's coming back <laughs> with his goofy car. Did you, uh, did you chop any trees back there? Did you chop any trees back? Yeah, that was me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, do you live close? Kinda, sorta. I oh, should have placed it here. Well, never mind. Oh yeah, sh. <laughs> that's good, man. Wait, what's this? Is that a? Oh, that's a claim thing, isn't it? Claim, claim beacon. Just gonna. 
destroy the claim beacon. I, w I will actually let him get the stuff because like it's it's his raiding stuff and uh, he raided it in the end. I will, however, maybe pinch a few things. Are you the two by two uh, reinforced? Yeah, yeah, that's me. Yeah, that's me. I won't raid you then. I right, appreciate it, man. Yeah, bro, of course. Maybe see you around. Have a good one. Well, <laughs> there we go then. Um, objective uh, successful. And I didn't even have to waste any raiding stuff whatsoever. Dude, there's this... Um, wait, I, I found a buffer kit. Hold on, that's actually quite nice. Well, actually it was his. I kind of stole it, more or less. Alright, I just spent the past like 15-20 minutes uh, organizing my base and uh, it looks a bit better now. So we got a bunch of guns here on the wall. Uh, we got attachments, um, ammo and more guns in this crate. Then we got some clothing in this one. Uh, a bunch of different components in this one and food, medic and grenade and the fire axe in this right here. So now I actually know where is what, sort of. Oh God, this guy scared me. The only Denvian or Denevian or something. Uh, that's probably his loot, right? He's just he's going to it. Hey, wait, wait, drop, drop all the loot again. Let me take what I need, and then you can have the rest. All I picked up was clothes. I saw that. Okay, this guy's lying. Clothes, huh? Oh wait, it was despawning, that's why. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> it was despawning next to him. So it looked like he picked it up. <laughs> Alright guys, because it is getting very late and I do need to sleep and I know that I will be probably raided by tomorrow when I log on because these guys will not be happy and they will come back and try to raid me. Um, I salvaged a lot of stuff and put it in here as well as my bed. I put um, all the important bits here, a bunch of guns. I will exchange some like chemicals for some metal or whatnot, just so I can make sure that I have the most important stuff on me so I don't lose it. Um, but I'm going to remove this door, wall this off and then hide behind this wall um, because they did see my base layout earlier and my hope is if they come back and um, see that in here everything is gone. They will not blow up this wall and check behind it. I will remove this door. Um, just have it open so it kind of looks raided already. I'll also place a sandbag. There's a sandbag key and I'll place it like so. Just, just exactly what they did so it looks like even more raided. Make sure to check out all my servers in the description below. Join the Discord server. There you will find all IPs to Pandas Network Servers not Panda Hut, my servers are not Panda Hut, it is P9 Pandas Network, P9 Does Network. And someone else just got here to say goodbye. Guy, do you want to say bye? I think she can't be bothered, um, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.